Come with me, please, to Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13 and 14. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God will bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Psalm 4, verse 7. Thou hast put gladness in my heart mm -hmm. more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. He said, watch this. This, this, this scripture is deep. He said, thou hast put gladness, happiness, satisfaction. I was telling him at the first service, if, if you are waiting to marry to be happy, don't marry because marriage can make you sad. And marriage can make you unhappy. No wife can make their husband happy. Neither can any husband make their wives happy. Happiness is something you derive from your personal relationship with God. If you are not happy and you don't know how to be happy, don't marry. Because marriage will make you sad and unhappy. You got to have your own happiness. I, I don't depend on Rosa to make me happy. I, I learn how to pull and to draw out of him my source, in him, by him, through him. For in him we live and move and have our beings. I learn how to divide my own happiness. That satisfaction comes from him and him only, in him. It's your connection with him that determines how happy you become in life. And happiness has nothing to do with smiling. But happiness is a deep-seated satisfaction and fulfillment, complete inside, when everything is falling ab apart on the outside. When, when I don't have a hold on what's going on around me, when everything is falling apart and it looks like everything is crazy, and I see the storms and the wind and the contrary wind and everything going wrong, but in the inside of me, I see and feel the still waters of Almighty God. And he said, he put satisfaction, gladness, happiness in me without silver and without corn. I don't need increase. I don't need gold. I don't need corn to derive my happiness. He gives me satisfaction and gladness right inside of me. Without the time of corn and the increase of oil. I don't need the increase of wine and corn to be happy. If you are willing to derive your happiness from the increase of wine and corn and breakthrough and financial blessings, you'll never be happy. You'll never be. Because those things have expiry dates. God never intended or designed you and I to derive our confidence and our happiness from material things or from his creation but him. 